But uh, right now I've got Christian and Trace, and my first question is going to go to Kevin Brockaway. Yeah, uh, question to both of you guys, maybe you can answer in different ways. Uh, but uh, I'm curious what kind of uh, rapport are you guys establishing as far as uh, two-man game scenarios, passing, screening, et cetera? Uh, how are you guys trying to develop chemistry with one each other on the court? Grace, go ahead. Um, so basically with our new offense, um, there's a lot of ball screening, but especially with him at the point, um, I can come up and set high ball screens and wing ball screens and stuff of that nature, and he can come up and make plays. Um, he's doing really well already for a freshman to be able to make plays off the dribble. So, Yeah, I agree with um, what Trey said. Um, our offense right now is just a whole lot of ball screens and side ball screens and stuff like that. So I feel like if we keep repping that out, I feel like we'll be good. Okay, Rick Bozic. Yeah, guys, um, Coach Miller seems to be very bullish, very optimistic, uh, very confident in this team. What do you think he sees or what have you shown him uh, that you think is, is contributing to this confidence so far? Um, I think just everyone from down to the freshmen all the way up to the seniors, um, everyone likes each other. Uh, that's a big part. Um, we all work hard and we hold each other accountable every day. Um, like last year, I remember there were times where Saturdays we could open and shoot. Um, if you weren't in the gym, um, it was like common. Then this year, if you're not in the gym on Saturday, um, it's weird. So like, it's just a different vibe this year. It's like everyone's ready to go, especially with an unfinished season last year. Al I agree with him. Um, I mean, uh, I feel like if we, as long as we hold help, help each other accountable, I feel like we're real close on and off the court. So I feel like the off the court helps us with the our on court. Okay, uh, Alec. Lastly, uh, yeah, this is uh, this for you, Christian. Uh, we heard earlier this summer a little bit from Rob and kind of how your skill set would really help him on the offensive end. You know, how how do you think you guys are going to play together, both? you know, one of you guys on the ball, off the ball, and how do you think your skill sets are going to translate together on the floor? Um, I feel like we'll play very well together. I feel like both of us can play on ball and off ball. So I feel like we can play off each other very well. Okay, Bob Kravitz. Yeah, thank you, JD. Uh, Trace, uh, question for you. You talked about the unfinished season. I wonder if you could go back for a minute to March 11th and talk a little bit about what those minutes and hours uh, after the win over Nebraska were like when you found out what was going on and how did you guys handle that? How did you process it? Um, really with the whole COVID-19, um, it was kind of hard to process because we didn't really know much about it at the time. But um, after the season got canceled, I know me and all my teammates were devastated because uh, we thought we had a really good shot at making the tournament, but um, it's just something you have to live with. Um, I feel for Duran and Devontae not being able to play in a tournament, um, especially with one probably going to be able to this year. So um, we just got to play with a chip on our shoulder this year, um, just knowing that we're not taking anything for granted. Just really quick as a follow-up, when, when exactly did you find out about Rudy Gobert and were, were you in the locker room? Were you looking at your phone or how did that all come about? Um, it really kind of was like a second thought almost because after the game with uh, Coach Hoiberg, um, he got sick. So we were all worried about him. And then um, we checked Twitter and then we saw that me and Joey were roommates and uh, we saw that Rudy got it. So um, it was it was crazy, honestly. Thanks. Okay, Jim Coyle. Hey, Christian, how you doing? Good. How are you? Christian, what, talk about the biggest difference for you in moving up. You, you, you moved up a class even to come up into to college ball, but for, to move up from high school to college, the biggest differences for you, I know we always talk about the speed of the game and, and the strength and all that, but talk about making that difference while making the acclimat acclimat acclimatization of playing on this team. Um, I just feel like each and every day I'm getting stronger and getting – uh, getting the hang of the offense and stuff like that. So I feel like I'm I'm a fast learner. So I feel like I'm gonna get a, uh, the hang of stuff. And as long as I keep getting stronger, I'll be I'll be good.
Trace, if you wouldn't mind following up on that, playing with him as, as someone as young as he is, but he is someone that's obviously exceptional talent. What's it been like having someone that young come in, but having a, an impactful part on this team? Um, most definitely. Um, him coming in was huge for us, especially just getting another guard. Um, he's a really explosive guard. Um, he has a really high IQ, especially for how young he is. And he's obviously, the sky's the limit for him. He's just going to keep getting better every day. Um, especially in the weight room with Cliff, um, just learning the new offense, learning how the college game is and when the game slows down for for him. Um, he's going to be a really, really, really good player. So, Okay, Mike Schumann. Yeah, hi, Trace. You mentioned your perimeter shot this summer being a real point of emphasis for you. I was hoping you could give us an update on where you feel that is and if you feel like you'll have a green light from the coaching staff when it comes to taking three pointers this year? Um, for me, um, it's really just been my confidence in getting that build up. Um, my coach has never told me not to shoot the ball. It's just been my confidence. So um, I've been gaining that over the off season. So just being able to just keep getting high reps at it um, and just keep expanding and expanding and expanding. So that's really what I've been working on. So hopefully by the time the season comes around, I'm ready to take those shots. Uh, Jojo. Hey guys, uh, can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Um, obviously you guys do not have a schedule yet. So I wanted to ask you to describe your mindsets at this point, knowing that the college basketball season is, you know, about scheduled to be six weeks away. Um, mostly I think, I think we're both excited, um, especially just not been able to do anything. I'm um, just practicing, practicing, practicing. We've been waiting for this. Um, first, we're excited for practice that starts tomorrow. Um, but with the season coming, I think everyone's kind of in the dark about what's happening. So um, we just got to play it one game at a time, really. So. Yeah, I agree with um, Trace. I feel like the only thing we can do is just stay prepared and hope for the best as far as our season goes. OK, Pegram. Hey, Trace, uh, Race Thompson came on really well at the end of the year last year, and you must be working with him a lot in the individual stuff. What what have you seen from him uh, since since March? Um, Race is just a big energy guy. Um, he makes the hustle plays. Um, he's going to be huge for us this year. Um, I think me and him play really well together uh, at the four and five because we're both very versatile players. Um, we're like interchangeable. We can both guard fives and fours. So, um, and um, I just think he's a great all-around teammate, and uh, he's going to really lift us up this year a lot. Okay, Zach? Just to kind of follow up on that, Trace, about race. Um, in particular, I think you guys had some, some pretty good games kind of concurrent to one another toward the end of last season. I'm thinking about Penn State at home, at Minnesota, things like that. Are there, are there things he does in the way that kind of – you know, he, he plays, I don't want to say that four spot, but certainly in the post that really kind of you feel fit with your game and, and just ways, I guess, you can play off of one one another that, that really fit for you. Yeah, I think um, especially with him, um, when me and when I'm at the five and he's at the four, um, a big thing for us, I think we get out and transition a lot more. Um, I think we speed, our tempo goes up tremendously um, and it's not as clogged. Um, I think we both move really well. And um, I think that's uh, that's a big emphasis on my game, being able to have space to operate uh, in the mid post and post. So, Alex, Trace, we've we've obviously seen a lot of, of Christian and Nathan Leo and Trey Galloway as they're all from Indiana, but Jordan Geronimo is a guy that a lot of people haven't seen or a post very much. What can you tell us about? him as a player so far, your impressions with him and how he can impact this team? Um, Jordan, Jordan's been really, really good, um, really high energy. Um, he's a freak athlete. Um, he's coming into his body a little bit, but um, I think once once he gets a grasp of everything, the sky's the limit for him. Um, he's really raw right now, but at the end of the day, he's going to be a really, really good player for us. Dylan? Hey, Trace, I, I got to ask you, uh, non-basketball related, Christian, you maybe chime in this if you want, but uh, between you and Armand, who would you say is, is the better TikTok dancer? 
Uh, Armand definitely has me on that. <laughs> uh, no comment on that one. <laughs> Tyler. Hey, Trace. Um, yesterday you were uh, named to the third team All-American um, team and and you've been in the conversation for some for some AP Player of the Year early um, in the season. Have you had conversations about that um, with the coaching staff and and kind of how you're going to handle those increased expectations and, and maybe the double teams and and just just more attention you'll be getting? Um, way back in, um, not even I'd say April, when I was making my decision to stay or leave, um, me and Coach Miller had a conversation about this actually. Um, he said, if you come back, you're, need, you're going to need to play at an All-American level. And um, so I think he's putting really high expectations on me and giving me a lot of confidence to produce. So, um, I mean, it's an honor to get those, but at the same time, um, I'm just here to win basketball games. And then the accolades can come with all of that. Okay, last question, Jeff. Hey, guys, I just got one for each of you. Uh, first, let's start with Trace. What what would you look at and say, what are three, four, five things that you think you can do better this year than you did last year? And how important is it for you to be able to finish some with the right hand just to be able to keep people from totally, you know, shading you one direction? Um, I, I put a big emphasis on my right hand this year. Um, I've been using a lot more um, in practice, um, not just doing drills, but actually in like when we play. So I'm um, just trying to get those reps up especially with my right-hand jump hook. Um, and then things I can do better this year, um, obviously shoot the ball better. Um, that's a key emphasis, especially on that short pick and pop from mid-range, being able to knock that down. Um, playmaking, I think with our offense, I'm going to catch the ball on the <coughs> high post a lot, so being able to make the right play. Um, if a guy steps up, being able to hit Joey on a lob, or if a guy comes over, being able to hit him uh, out Rob or someone in the right right corner for three. So the playmaker is going to be a big thing for me too this year. Um, I think I rebounded the ball well last year, but at the same time, you can always you can always get more um, energy on board. So, Gotcha. And this one's for Christian. I just wanted to take you back to L.A. when you guys played really, really well out there last July. I thought it was one of the best games, best weekends that you ever had. How well do you feel you played? And is that the type of game – if you could take that and put that to your freshman year, is that the kind of performances that you would like to have? Uh, most definitely. I feel like that was probably my, I would agree that was probably like my best weekend of AAU as well. Uh, I feel like if I play like that and that tempo, I feel like I'll play good with all my teammates and be able to produce. Thanks, man. Okay, guys, thank you much. Go ahead and move on to the next one.